Hey, what's up, guys? It's Days from NecoGuides.com, and we're going to be doing a demo review on Overpass right now. So, the first thing I noticed is that you Molotov, but you do it really late, actually. And they could have easily rushed and beaten this Molotov here and possibly killed you and your teammates. Second off, you actually have four people here right now. So, pre Molotoving that doesn't make much sense. If you have four people there, you shouldn't have to pre Molotov it. You should just kill them if they come. All right. Now when you're rotating, you come to the bank, which is fine. You throw a flash, and instead of peeking, you run away to the stairs. And you kind of wasted a lot of time, and I don't really understand that move. Had you either come to the stairs earlier, you would have been able to get in sight and really helped out, or you could have you came with the bank and helped out as well. Now right here, you go into the smoke instead of peeking underneath it. Had you peeked underneath it, you would have stopped them from getting in the site and possibly gained two or three headshots. And you also could have molotov the planter had you saved that molotov. So you got to kind of think of those a little bit. And you got to think about getting into the best spot possible as early as possible. Okay, And you had the position, you had the timing to do that. And instead, you didn't do anything with it. From what I've watched so far, um, positioning wise, you're actually playing very, very well. And you're doing, you're, you're, you're in the right position most of the time. The thing that's actually holding you back right now is your lack of accuracy. Um, there's been many rounds you could have made a huge impact with the op where you've been missing. And with your rifle, um, the, the accuracy just isn't really there yet. So that's the thing right now that is actually holding back your game more than anything, is your lack of accuracy. Um, if you've noticed, Velocity, I think his name is, has killed you in any gun battle that he's been in, like really, really easily. Um, so you definitely have to work on that. Definitely hit the DMs a bit more. But positionally, you're playing pretty sound. Um, the one thing you got to remember is that a lot of the time, less is more, um, especially when you've been around the bank and you've been around these stairs rotating and things like that. You got to remember less is more. Just try to get in a good spot, try to get there early, and then try to hold it. Okay, That's what CS is going to become more and more about when you start playing in team atmospheres. So before we get too much into the T side, let's talk about that CT side for a second. Um, on your CT side, you guys really weren't playing the map properly. Okay? You were playing way too aggressive around the bathrooms and things like that. And this is a map where you literally just want to delay the other team until like 50 seconds and then just start laying, layering your smoke grenades at the choke points before they execute. And if you do that, you win like almost every time. Going slow down that ladder makes no sense. They can't hear you get down there if you just do it properly. And then right here, the way you're peeking this alleyway isn't very good. You want to be peeking in and out from this side, actually. Uh, crouch peeking in and out, or the other side. And you want to crouch peek in and out, or do you want to wide peek? You're kind of just peeking really slowly, and you're a really easy target. So what I mean by that is, you crouch and you pixel perfect peek um, to where you think they're going to be, or you just wide peek and fly across their screen. Um, and now this is like one of the worst things you could do in this hallway is get caught going forward and holding W and then the guy wide peeks you and you're just a complete free frag. Okay, so you really have to revamp that. Um, generally what you want to do is you want to get support from the other side of the map around balloons and have people going down those stairs and then you want to smoke around the door and then you flash and then you either bait your teammates or let your teammates bait you. Right here you really really lucked out. As a rule of thumb, when you're the last person, you need to immediately turn around and watch the flank, okay? Right now, you're the fifth in line. You are the last person. All your teammates are up here. You need to look at the flank right now. You really luck out that your teammate just ops this guy and he understands that nobody's watching it and gets that kill. Because had you lost that round, it definitely would have been on you. So as a rule of thumb, if you're the last person, immediately take care of the flank once you open up the site. All right, Beck, that's enough for that demo. Um, thank you for submitting it. It was a little tough to navigate and things because it was a POV demo, so I couldn't tell you what your teammates needed you to do that much. But where it really fell apart for you guys is when Miller got an op. When Miller got an op, he really started picking your teammates apart, and he made it 4v5, 3v5, almost every single round. And you, instead of fighting him and trying to protect your teammates and taking those duels, you were letting the rifles peek him and, and your rifles dying to him. Now... What would be a lot better 
is if instead of you trying to hold map control, especially on a map like Overpass, is if you protect your teammates and you take those duels against those oppers and you clear out those spots for your teammates instead of letting them fight AK versus op. Or at the very least, use your smokes and flashes to aid them and to taking that map control. All right. Another thing about Overpass is on T side, you want to take map control as quickly as possible. That way you can make the CTs burn their smokes as quickly as possible. And by making them burn their smokes, you know, you could hopefully enter a bomb site without going through a Molotov or a smoke grenade. Okay, this has been Dave from NecoGuides.com. I hope this helps you, and peace out.